Hi, in this video we're going to look at this whole idea of changing a recurring decimal in this place, in this case 0.473 recurring, to the fraction 469 over 990. Now there is a technique for doing this and I'm going to go through it in this particular playlist. So if you want to also have a look at some of the other videos that will give you a good idea and you'd use exactly the same principles each time we do it. The first thing that we do is we say let n equal 0 0.473737373. Okay, so really all we're saying is that algebraically we're just going to change that value into equaling a letter. It could equally well be x if you preferred, it didn't really matter. Okay, so the thing I can do um, is I need to try to find a way is to get rid of all of this recurring. Now if you notice what I can do, if I multiply this value of n by 100, then I'm going to move the decimal point two places. So therefore, if I move the decimal point two places, what I end up with is 47.373737 and so on. And that means then that if I take away the value of n, which is 0.473737, I don't know if you can see what's happening here, but it will allow me then to take away the recurring element of these numbers because 7 take away 7 is 0, 3 take away 3, and so on. So it gives me a position where I'm able to create a fraction which is equivalent to 0 0.473. You'll see what I mean in, in the way that I work this through. So I've got let 100n equal that, and n equals that. So if I take one away from the other, what I end up with is 100n take away n, well that's 99n. And then if I look at this number, I've got 47.3 and all the recurring, take away 0 0.4 and all the recurring. So it's actually 47.3 take away 0 0.4 and that's going to give me 46.9. Okay, so therefore I've got a value of 99n. If I then divide through by 99, I get on this side n, because those two will cancel themselves out, which is what I'm looking for, and then I divide that by 99, I end up with 406, uh, 46.9 divided by 99. Now that's not particularly good, it's a bit of a mix of a decimal and a fraction, so all they're asking us to do is to just simply move the decimal point one place. So if I move the top one place, I end up with 469. If I move the bottom one place, I have to put a zero in as a placeholder, and that's 990, so n equals 469 over 990, which equals 0.473 recurring. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. There are a few more examples within this particular playlist for you to have a look at. They all follow broadly the same principles. You've just got to be careful occasionally that sometimes you're not going to multiply by 100, sometimes it's going to be 10, sometimes even 1,000. But the main focus really is to get rid of all of these recurring numbers. I hope that's been all right. Please do add a comment below. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. Have a look at the rest of the playlist. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.